Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today I am going to do something not too complicated. We are going to kill Satan with Eve. We have already done the Dark Room as Eve, but we have not yet killed Satan as Eve, so that's what we're going to try to do today, immediately using that razor to uh, get into the Whore of Babylon form. And making life a little bit easier because of it. Mostly doing this first because it's it's the first run I'm recording of the day. And quite frankly, I need something easy to do. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm hoping that Satan's not going to be too bad. Interestingly enough, we can take the Polaroid instead of the negative. Just because we don't need to go to the dark room. So the run ends a little bit earlier than it ordinarily would. Almost a callback to uh, a run of a long time ago, I suppose before we had the negative and Polaroid unlocked. There's a part of me that kind of wants to try to go for the thing where you beat um, the lamb without picking up coins, bombs, or hearts, but simultaneously that is usually a bit easier when you're playing a character with flight, so I might just leave that alone for now. Uh, I might just leave that as an Azazel run in the future or something like that, because it is kind of tricky to do that anyway. And doing it without flight is kind of a nightmare because you can just get stuck behind a consumable that you have to pick up and then and the run's over. So obviously that's not ideal. Although we did just get balls of steel. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that actually does kind of make it a little bit more tempting. Especially since we got some free bombs here as well. So we can just do this. Maybe get a key that way. Yeah, I'll think about it. Kind of depends on what else happens in this run, I suppose. Uh, that's a good way to use some of my bombs as well. We're not gonna if we do decide to go down this route Then obviously bombs are kind of a valuable commodity, so I need to be sure not to waste them and also uh, That's another health up as well. Yeah, you know, let's just see what we can do here I mean, <laughs> If at some point things get too dicey or just get stuck and have to pick up a consumable fair enough the run ends in that regard, but I guess I might as well try it is one of those things it's how you unlock the Ace of Spades, I believe. And uh, that's just a nice unlock to get out of the way. Uh, this could arguably be good. Uh, if I die, I mean, I might as well take it. It doesn't really matter in the long, in the grand scheme of things, I suppose. Not really sure what Lazarus still has left to do, but I'm guessing the dark room and things are already done. I can just pick up every key that I want. Also, I'm pretty sure the run doesn't end if I pick up an item that gives me bombs or an item that gives me health either, so... Yeah, let's just see what happens here. It's a, it's an, it's a challenge for sure, so... Yeah, why not? Not sure if I should go for Devil Deals or Angel Rooms though, because I, I kind of wouldn't mind being on one red heart if the Devil Deal is particularly interesting. So if I might actually just check it out here. It is going to be very difficult not to accidentally just to pick up a heart somewhere along the line, I think. Especially with red health. Red hearts appear everywhere, so you really do need to be rather careful with stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. So far, we've managed not to pick up any hearts, bombs, or coins yet, so... So far, it's looking good. This is a lot of red health that we're getting as well, so might as well check out the Devil Deal. Ah, uh, black powder. I mean, it is damaging. Uh, I don't know if I want to deal... I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I never take Devil Deals. I never take black powder to begin with because the item itself isn't that amazing. Unfortunately, could not pick up those black hearts that were in there because uh, it would end the run again. But so far, so good. Yeah, like stuff like that. It is kind of nice to be able to attack enemies from a distance by just making a circle with this black powder and occasionally doing some poison damage with this trinket as well. It's, it's all right. Of course, curse rooms are a little bit more treacherous as well just due to the fact that uh, our only method of healing is pills and... And items. <laughs> it's good to know that Balls of Steel is in our pill pool, though, and that that was also the first pill that we got, because, quite frankly, pills are fairly treacherous when trying to do something like this. Uh, a bad trip or a health down is obviously not exactly what you're looking for on most days, so... Yeah, it can go fairly wrong. It is a weird way of playing the game as well, to just try to avoid so many of the consumables that would otherwise make your run just so much easier. Obviously, if you have something like Scapular as well, it might actually be worthwhile to just go for the um, Sacrifice Room instead. 
because uh, yeah, that would more or less allow you to just go to the end immediately. It does get a, pr a little bit treacherous once you get to the point where it gives you either a whole bunch of coins or like a bunch of um, soul hearts instead, because those are obviously not very easy to avoid. I'm just placing some of these here in the hopes that this boss will ever decide to go in this direction. There we go. <laughs> kind of figured that would work eventually, because it is... It's not a, even a bad item per se, it's just that using it is a little fiddly to say the least. It does work against flying enemies though. Another balls of steel pill? Actually getting a lot. <laughs> getting a lot of health, which is surprising. It's also even tempting to just blow up shopkeepers and things with the um, few bombs that I have just for that extra devil deal chance. Yeah, I actually didn't know this worked against flying enemies, but that does actually kind of change things a bit. Um, because it does mean that we have another method of attack, and that's obviously rather great. Occasionally we can just get rid of some of these red hearts as well to get rid of our devil deal chances if need be. I'd have to lose my soul hearts as well, which is not great, but not technically impossible. Especially with a um, balls of steel pill on my disposal. Getting a decent amount of keys here so far as well, so... So far so good. Golden chests are a little bit precarious because you can just get a bunch of stuff like that. But if you can get little dolly or something like that, there's some good items in there, so it wouldn't be too horrible. Rag Mega. I might actually use a bomb on this. Just to make my life a little bit easier on myself, because quite frankly, this boss can be fairly irritating with low damage. Come on. We did get another devil deal. I'll just leave Pageant Boy alone, even though it is a nice crown. Uh, Death's List. That's... okay. It's okay, it's not amazing by any means, but it's something that will allow me to get some more startups and things, and maybe health as well? I'm not really sure if you get health from this. Like, it'll drop it on the floor, which is obviously not great, but... Yeah, also I for just completely forgot about the item room on the previous floor. Uh, so, so much for that, I suppose. This is not, yeah, that's not exactly the types of enemies you want to see if you want to kill enemies in a certain order, but yeah, fair enough. Uh, I might actually use this just for the sake of getting Horror of Babylon to be activated again because we no longer have as many red hearts anyway. So I don't actually mind doing that. Uh, that's all useless. Yeah, killing some of these enemies in the right order is going to be a bit nasty as well, especially when stuff like that happens, but fair enough. Cards are also potentially fairly helpful. And I might actually just take this Emperor card for now just to make life a little bit easier. Might mean we can steal from the um, boss rush as well, if we're quick enough. Yeah, no way. <laughs> there is no... is there no way? There might be a way. There, there is potential for there being a way. Yeah, I guess this is not too bad, actually. I kind of overestimated the difficulty of this, I feel. Unidentified pill and quick bombs, not great. Yes, okay, yeah, this is maybe a bit too much. <laughs> Struggling a bit to use this black powder here, but occasionally I'll manage. There is also arguments that can be made about this particular type of run that you, you should do this as the lost. Um, just because certain items... That doesn't give me startups. Just because certain... Um, like, hearts are already useless as the lost anyway, so you just have to worry about not picking up coins and bombs, but... Really, my counter-argument is that the loss is already difficult enough and that... Coins can be very helpful and bombs can be very helpful because they allow you to get into secret rooms and things and... It really just does simplify a lot of item gathering and such if you don't have to worry about stuff like that, so it's... I, I don't like the idea of doing it as a loss, but I understand it. <laughs> Um, I'll do this on the mushrooms at least. I think that, yeah. That's an unidentified pill. Yeah, this might be a good way to actually just destroy mushrooms, but I'm also a little bit worried that it's just gonna like launch a consumable into me that I don't want, and obviously that would be fairly horrendous, so I might just leave that alone. Come on, there we go. Yeah, I mean, this would have been great any other time. <laughs> As it stands, it's not quite what I'm looking for, unfortunately. Anytime I see a balls of steel pull, I'll definitely just go for it instantly, I think. But any other 
pill or any item, pretty much any consumable is just not really going to be worthwhile. I'm going to assume that there isn't a planetarium on this floor <laughs> and just move on. Because I think that's probably the way to go here. I hope... Yeah, I believe this one is just going to spawn a bunch of bombs, right? And not actually a soul heart, hopefully. That's the hope. Also need to watch out with, with hearts as well, because I am now in the range where I can just pick up a red heart and then... That'll be it, so... <laughs> and they do drop a red heart. Range up. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Onwards to the next floor. Hope things work out. Uh, definitely not going to do the boss rush. I will definitely skip it if I have the option. Um, judging that the, from the fact that my planetarium chance didn't go down, I'm assuming there wasn't a planetarium on the previous floor, so... Hopefully that's correct. Uh, you first. Ah, come on! <laughs> uh, fly killed him, I think, so that was a little unfortunate, but fair enough. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm never... There's no way. <laughs> there was no realistic chance of that one happening, so... Just gonna leave that alone. And then, yeah, you have stuff like this, where... Hopefully we don't have to go in that direction, because there is no way for me to... Unless I bomb that thing out of the way, there is just simply no way for me to deal with that right now, so... Unless I can find flight somewhere on this floor, which is not impossible, but fairly unlikely, because I think it would have to be, like, fate from a golden chest or something like that. That would allow me to have flight at this stage. Uh, God. Yeah, that's not exactly wonderful. Uh, if you could just both go in this direction, that would be ideal, but neither of them are seemingly too interested in helping me out here for some reason. Not sure why. They, I thought they were my friends. And also that one exploded just a bit weirdly. That's a lot of coins. <laughs> I, oof. A lot, of, a lot of bombs dropping in awkward positions. Was there like a pin there? Or no, 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 no. That was the... That was this projectile. I guess that counts as an enemy? That's interesting. I actually didn't know that worked that way. But fair enough. That does make life a little bit more precarious, assuming I have to go back, but... Huh, may, might not have to, at least. And if we just skip another item room, then we're fine, but it is obviously not exactly what you'd call ideal. I'm also in a bit of a treacherous situation where, on the one hand, I want to use the Emperor card to steal from the boss rush, but on the other hand, it would be really nice to have um, this... It would be really nice to have this Emperor card for if we somehow manage to reach the Dark Room in this state, because of uh, obvious reasons, so... Yeah, it's not great. I'm just gonna hang out here while he sits in the corner of the room, because the boss is feeling kind today. I do appreciate that. Often that boss just sort of does his own thing and uh, ruins my life, but that time, not too bad. That's a little bit of damage up. Unfortunately, no devil deal with that 67%, but I'm just gonna keep going. Hoping that this is going to work out. So far, it's going okay. I haven't seen a Balls of Steel pill in a while. But I also haven't really taken damage either, so I guess that's working out. We got 41% Planetarium chance. Come on. Alright. Well, let's just go this way. That didn't go exactly as planned because I was so focused on trying to kill enemies in the right order that it just ruined my life. Also, that's a lot of creep that was on the floor there, and I genuinely wasn't sure <laughs> if that was going to hurt me or not for some reason. God, this is a nasty room. Especially when your build isn't the best for mysterious circumstances. <laughs> it's all good. It's okay. Obviously something like um, Book of Revelations or something like that would just be so good because you can just get health all over the place. Uh, but unfortunately we do not have that luxury. Uh, yeah, no way in hell. This is fairly awkward. And you... Ah, oh, God, really. Kind of thought I would be able to get away with that, but unfortunately not. And it is not working out in my favor, these decisions so far. Getting to the point where I'm going to have to make the decision of, am I really going to do this? <laughs> because, quite frankly, it is falling apart very quickly on this floor. Uh -huh. There we go. That ended up working out by accident mostly, but still, it worked out. Black powder saved the day. Come on. And one more enemy remains. There you go. And a soul heart for our troubles. How oh, nice. This, on the other hand, not as much. 
But the black powder is doing some decent work against one of them, at least. Unfortunately, <laughs> they are interested in jumping around today. Ah, oh, God. All the enemies to get hit by Monstro is not what you want to see here. Yeah, this might this might get into the range of maybe I should give up on this idea. <laughs> do this with a character where it's a little bit easier to do because it is getting precarious and my health is excessively low. Having said that, if this run fails, I'll probably just do another one, kill Satan and call it a day. But still, it would be nice if we just won, you know? That would be lovely. An item room, very nice. Uh, God, yeah. Okay. And just garbage. Yeah, it's just not really been... It started off really strong, and then we didn't really get anything else ever again. <laughs> Unfortunately. So, there is that to consider as well. Maybe the boss rush will have something, but I'll have to actually survive my way to the boss rush. And that is what is currently worrying me about that idea. Uh, this at least allows me to steal from the boss rush if we do get to it. So that's something. I could go here. Eh, that's just not really that good. If it was a health up, I'd definitely consider it, but for that, obviously not, because that's just not really that good. It's just not really that good. Come on. Circle. <laughs> You'd think making a circle would be a lot easier than this, but somehow walking into a small circle with some powder is surprisingly difficult on occasion. It's also nice that you don't immediately pick up the consumables when they drop, you know? You like you have some chance to run away from it. So that's nice. But it is... Uh, it's a scary time. <laughs> you could make an argument about shops as well. Like, you could probably... If you find enough two of diamonds, then you can get kind of away with it. But that's really the only realistic way of doing that as well, and that's... Honestly, calling that realistic is a stretch. I don't love that I took a hit there. All right, so if we can do a no damage mom fight, then we're good. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all. That's all we all we gotta do with a build that's, well, putting it nicely, not ideal, but technically not terrible. I guess stuff like that would be pretty good as well, just for the sake of getting some more bombs. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I could blow him up for some extra chance. Actually, yeah, I might, because I did take red heart damage. So I think this should increase it by a fair amount. Yeah, 35%. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Unfortunately, this means I use my last bomb. Um, the remaining rooms are all... Well, th there's one room remaining that I can enter, and it's just skeletons, I believe, in hand. So that's not great. Let's just give it a shot. Let's see if this works out. If it doesn't... You know what? Maybe Lazarus has something to do in this direction. I still need to unlock Tainted Lazarus, I think. Yeah. So if I take damage, then that'll just be the next plan. We'll see what happens here. Would be a weird way to unlock the character, I suppose, but... I do have a trinket. I should use this. Yeah, this is... This might be my most effective method of damage right now. Just that black powder. Come on. The walls are being nice. Which is rare. I'm just gonna chill here for a minute. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. That's actually really irritating. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well... Um, right, so this character's already done everything onwards from this point, so... It's a surprise we're unlocking Tainted Lazarus Run! Which is unexpected. But it is what it is. <laughs> um... Right, so... Two Shot or Ghost. I guess Two Shot's probably the better one of the two. Alright, and uh, let's just get that soul heart, um, and let's just explore the rest of the floor for a little bit before we move on. <laughs> I 
could go in here. I do still have an Emperor card, which I could use on the next floor. Uh, I have zero bombs. I can make that one, I think, in this room right here. There's some money. Suddenly the run just took a drastic turn. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, I don't think Tooth Shot would have saved this particular run. <laughs> it's, it's fairly unlikely that that would have worked out. There we go. We're creating a health situation. We can get some more items on the way back. We can buy one more Soul Heart here. Alright, no worries. And... There is a trinket on this floor. I could actually just place a trinket in the um, item room because then I can just get it back during the ascent as well. I'd have to find the item room on the way back up, but that's doable. That's not impossible. So yeah, fair enough. It, it's working out. Five more coins. I could uh, explore the next floor for a little bit. I could just use the Emperor to make it as quick as possible as well. Wonderful. Very soothing. Yeah, I mean, for the shop, it would be kind of good to look for the next... Mm, yeah, to look around a bit on this floor, but I don't know. My, my build's not great, and that concerns me quite a lot. <laughs> uh, for obvious reasons, because it's it'll just... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> We're just doing this. I don't want to deal with that with this particular build, so let's just make a run for it. It's gone. Just get over um, it. Eve, you mean it's right, gone? so let's just do that. We still have Dead Bird as well because we were Eve at some point and we never really technically lost our items. I guess I could have just done that. I guess I could have just um, used the Razor to become Horror Babylon and then call it a day. Because since we're Lazarus, we no longer had that effect active at one heart. I mean, only Eve has, has that nice thing, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully there wasn't a planetarium on that floor, <laughs> because I got scared. Um, that's not really that great. I mean, it's good for sleeping in the bed at the end, that's really about it. I'd rather have the damage up, I think. 10 damage, really bad tier rate, but damage-wise it's okay. Yeah. Alright, so on this floor, I need to find the um, item room, and well, here it is. Merely just picked up that red heart to, um... Oh, nice. You picked up that red heart so I could use the razor and have a little bit of extra damage there as well. There is the cracked key. And I'm hoping that's going to be useful from time to time. I could have killed the enemies in the right order there, probably, but again, fear. <laughs> I'd love to have a little bit more health as well. It would be kind of a shame if we do actually unlock the character but not kill the beast because of low health. Because uh, it's just a little tedious, isn't it? But we might still find some health here and there. Oh, God. That was unexpected. That was a champion one in there as well, I think. Seemed a little bit bigger, at least. This is, I suppose, not even, like, the worst build I've probably ever had for this particular purpose. But, God. <laughs> it's definitely not the best, either, is it? It's just, uh, yeah. I'm hoping that we can at least find, like, a Balls of Steel pill or something like that on the way. Or something like that. I guess if we just use Death's List to its maximum capability, we might get some good stuff. There we go. Also, I will say that if I unlock Tainted Lazarus, that's not going to be the next character I play. <laughs> it's, it's simply put, I, it's, it's, it's too much. It's not... It's not going to happen, but we'll, we'll get around to that at some point. I'm hoping that I don't kill myself here. I got one card from that at least. Which is... Devil. Which unfortunately... I'm not going to take because... Because uh, i got to keep this cracked key. I mean, I could just use it for like a fight on this floor, I suppose. Also, I can play this machine for a little bit. Maybe increase my health just a little bit more as well. If I can get, like, a one soul heart from this, I'll be happy, but... Eh, this this game feels whether or not you want to have a soul heart usually, and... Quite frankly, I'm surprised we even got a devil card and not just... Not just garbage. <laughs> but 
But whatever. We have a devil card that we can use on this floor. Plus nine damage? That seems reasonable. It was plus one. It was just a devil card adding a bunch there. It's likely that this room will be... Yeah. But let's just walk around that. Use a devil card here as well. The devil actually gives a pretty decent chunk of damage from that as well. Fairly surprised by how much damage that actually is, but yeah, fair enough. Ooh, black heart. Death card? That could clear a room, maybe? Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> you ever realize your mistake in slow motion? Yeah, there, there it is. I uh, yeah. <laughs> saw the enemies a little bit too late there. And it ruined my day, but... Yeah, it, it was only one. One black card in the end of the day, but still, that would have been a nice thing to have. At a later point, I'll take that. Finally, we're at a point where we still can get Horror Babylon, but also have an extra hit available. Little annoyed that I got hit there, but yeah, fair enough. I think that's a closed item room, at least. Uh... <laughs> I don't deserve not getting hit there. It's not a closed item room. It's the black hole one. Two unidentified pills. It's not really something I'm aspiring for either. Not any tinted rocks for as far as I can tell. And yeah, this looks like a nightmare. <laughs> I mean, I could have tried if I really wanted to, but god, that's just so much effort to put into something like that. Oh, jeez. Don't want to see you. Oop. We got a damage up at least. We're getting decent stat ups from this death list at least. So we do got that going for us, but I'm just a little concerned. Might as well take this. Ooh, sticky penny. Sticky nickel. Mm. Tinted rock. Ooh. I'm gonna use my one bomb to give this beggar some money and hope that I get the best item in the game, which is of course. Lunch. Oh, that's not terrible either, actually. It's dinner. I wanted lunch. Oh my god. Why does the game treat me so horrifically? Oh god. Uh, can I get away with this? With the razor? <laughs> I might just look for a bomb or something like that instead. I think that's probably the better way to do that. Uh, this is a little worrying, but not like a whole lot. Enemies are dying in the right order. We've gotten a lot of tinted rocks on the way up here that I can appreciate at least, but... Two more bombs, okay. I think if I just do this... Ah, the other bombs... <laughs> the other hearts moved it perfectly to the middle there. Which I don't want to deal with. There we go. Two bombs for one soul heart. I don't even think that's too terrible of a deal. Occasionally getting these tooth shots as well. God damn it. Uh, that would have been a nice not hit, but actually, maybe not even that terrible either. Just because we're still gonna get one more heart on the next floor anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess you'll die first. Gah. Standing in very much the wrong location for some of these enemies, unfortunately, which is, ru is ruining things a bit, but not. Making it completely imaginable. Well, these enemies are definitely not going to get killed in the right order, so let's just do this without a death card this time and not have the worst experience possible. I do like that we have several different types of teeth that we're shooting at these enemies, at least. We got that going for us. So that's nice. <laughs> Pretty much every unidentified pill I'm scared to take because it, a tears down would be fairly horrendous right now. Like, we got a tear rate up earlier from Death's List, at least. That's not bad. Especially during the beast fight, that's actually pretty damn good because of all the flies and things, so that's pretty nice. Probably could have made this work as well, but nah. No worries. There we go. Not really sure what I want to do with the razor, though, because I wouldn't mind increasing my damage a little bit. I guess during Dogma I could probably do it. I don't know if... I forget how the healing works. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm just gonna... Oh, God. Never mind. I was gonna say, maybe I'll just bomb out of this room, but... Oh, my God. Are you serious? I actually did not expect that to hit me. I thought it was actually fairly safe. Like, I was... I felt pretty far away from the from the thing there. But, yeah, fair enough. Oh, God. This is an explosive room. 
Come on. Oh my god, he jumped over it. Ah, fair enough. I guess it was a little hopeful to try and kill those enemies in the right order, but still, it would have been nice, wouldn't it? Ah, oh, please get out of here. I was really trying to kill these in the right order as well, but yeah, that, that didn't help. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Please, 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 please. Be nice, be nice, be nice. Really? I guess I could have... Mm, okay, yeah, we're taking way too much damage now. <laughs> I mean, we'll probably get healed because of um, the beast mechanics, because of our low health situation now, but that's obviously not quite a hopeful strategy that I'm trying to go for here. Go. Boop. I'd like to have some health available for when we do the actual fight, please. <laughs> That'll be nice. Yeah, no way. Too many flies here. At least we're shooting at a reasonable speed, I suppose. Like, I've been calling it bad tier 8, but it's, it's really not that terrible. We've probably had worse tier 8s at some point in life. Probably even during the start of this run. Admittedly, it's less useful during the start of a run, but still, it still counts. That's two more soul hearts. Been really lucky with the <laughs> with the tinted rocks during all this, because quite frankly, we have been getting way more than we deserve. Uh, this is actually kind of okay that these spawn so many flies, because it means we can deal some extra damage here with the lusty blood. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, remember how I started this run off with let's just do something simple. Let's just kill Satan with Eve, and then I, I made some decisions, and <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of enemies that spawned from that. No fears, though. Uh, no tinted rocks, for as far as I can tell. Where? Okay. I mean, I don't mind rooms with one enemy inside it, just because it it does mean. You're gonna get those stat ups at least. Usually. I don't know if we actually got it there. Uh, because it didn't seem to give us anything at the end. Because I think it's like a whole bunch of different segments. And while they all died roughly at the same time, I got like plus three damage after killing one of them. So it probably counts as a lot of different enemies. And then it didn't quite kill them in the right order at the end or something like that. Which is a little unusual, but fair enough. One coin. Uh, well, this is... Uh, let's just call this unlikely. Given where that first enemy is. I could do this for a year, uh, but alternatively... I have the rest of my life <laughs> waiting for me, and I'd really rather not rather spend it on anything else than... trying to shoot diagonally across a rock, so... Yeah, I've made my choice. Well, if anything, we'll unlock a new character here. And that's something. That's got to count for something. That's a soul heart. And the luck up as well, so we're going to shoot more teeth. That's nice. We have a couple uses of the razor available, and I'm tempted to just use all of them at Dogma. Don't know how good of an idea that is, but... Eh. Bloop. And that's not bad either. I used the razor immediately because I know it was going to heal me, and then I was like, why though? <laughs> because there, there, there really isn't that much of a, of a point, I suppose. Do I bleed still? No, no, I don't bleed from doing that. I, I, it, was a, it was the right call. It was the right call. Just trust me. <laughs> I got a little bit of extra damage for a very short period of time, and it was great. Hopefully these extra spiders are occasionally going to... Destroy some enemies as well. I'm feeling okay. We got homing bombs. <laughs> in case we want to use those in some capacity. Like, we're, we gotta build. Surely. If I just remember how to play the game without taking damage, then we're not in any trouble. It's just that occasionally... <laughs> occasionally, I get into a sequence where I don't remember how to do that. And then life gets a lot scarier. But so far, this fight's going okay, at least. Just put a whole bunch of tears next to Dogma there, immediately using everyone's favorite attack in the game. Although, I guess with these... These particular tears are actually not that terrible... ...for this. Because they just kind of float around, and he's hopefully just gonna fly through that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't actually hate that. that. That did some damage at least, and honestly, that attack's not too scary once you kind of learn it. I've been struggling more with this attack lately for some reason, and I'm not really sure why. Because nothing has changed about this attack in recent years, and quite frankly, I've been getting hit a lot by it. <laughs> Let's just get you to go to the corner. I'm surprised I dodged that, but fair enough. And just run in circles for a while. Yeah, we did some decent damage with some of those teeth there, I think. Like, he just flew through a couple of those and did pretty substantial damage there. There we go. Zero damage dogma. That's pretty good. Don't hate that. Alright, just some horsemen left to go. I'm gonna use the razor. Not sure if I should use the razor three. I'm gonna use the razor three times <laughs> to get max damage for the remainder of this fight because I think that's probably gonna be more useful. Uh, God, this is very difficult to see what's happening here. But now we're getting to the point where it should be a little bit more bearable. I'm surprised I dodged the flies because I was not really paying close attention to what was happening there. There we go. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Occasionally some of these tears are making it to them, but that's good enough. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Just create a whole wall of tears for these enemies. I think I'm pretty much at max damage already, at least, because of um, those flies that we've killed. That's good. But the, uh, this is actually a little troubling for sure. My tears are not actually making it to the boss, and that is obviously not ideal. Uh, this is also a pretty quick attack. There we go. One part down. The bird is doing his best as well, so that's pretty great. There went the Holy Mantle, but now everyone's attacking him. Holy Mantle's so bad now. Because <laughs> I immediately took some harder damage, like, afterwards. I miss the days where it at least gave you some invulnerability, and that is just not the case anymore. It's a shame. Because it really gave you so much more potential earlier. I'm just gonna have to sit really close to him here, unfortunately, but that is what it is. It's the only way I can deal damage, unfortunately, because my tears. He's not. They don't move that much, these bosses. <laughs> never really realize how little some of these bosses actually move until you have something that doesn't make your tears go forward. <laughs> uh -huh. There we go. Making progress. Making progress. Death is always a little spooky. He's always very serious. But we're hopefully gonna be okay here. At least Death is kind enough to just let me shoot in here for a while, but then he does have a lot of friends here as well, so I'm hoping that's not gonna trouble me too much. Ah, uh, God. Did not mean to get hit there, but... What? That can hit you? Wait, what? I got hit by something, but I'm not sure what I got hit by. But that is concerning. <laughs> I was kind of figuring that at this point I'd know what would damage me in that fight, but I guess I do not, and that is causing me some concern. Oh well. Let's hope that we can make it through this at least. I'm hoping that we deal enough damage that we can um, get through this relatively quickly. The first couple of phases are always more or less the same, at least. And after that, it gets a little complicated. <laughs> Just drop a whole bunch of that in front of him. No worries, no fear. Please don't throw stalagmites on my head. Or stalactites, I forget which one is which. I remember that I had ways to remember it, but I always forget. It's such a weird difference between words. Oh god. Please. Just go to the next phase. Oh god. 
genuinely forgot this attack even existed. <laughs> God. Hate this. <laughs> Hate this a lot. Okay. One phase left. <laughs> uh, we're okay. We're okay. <sighs> we're okay. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, that was perhaps a little bit less complicated than I had originally intended for that run. But we did unlock Tainted Lazarus, who's a character. And we have beaten the beast as Lazarus as well. Which is exactly what I planned at the start of this run, so... Yeah, yeah, that worked out. Yeah, yeah, perfect. It was, it was good. It was a good time. <laughs> Hope everyone enjoyed it. Next time we play, uh, my play Eve again, I suppose. Still need to get around to doing that whole thing. And I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye. <laughs>